Welcome to the Lock Group Business Advice web series in which we offer insights on ways to improve market share, increase revenue, and decrease costs with the Trinity of Business. Hi, I'm Phil Swearingen, and in this episode, I'm going to share the good, bad, and the ugly lean has upon the culture of an organization. Let's start with the ugly. The leadership of an organization interested in employing a lean program may first have to overcome the stigma that lean too often is used to describe downsizing. While we are not using lean in this way, I can just about guarantee your frontline staff will associate lean with layoffs, just before they dig their heels in to resist any kind of change. The bad is that lean will be considered by middle management as another fad, and they will wait out making any changes, suspicious Another new idea is just around the corner. Some of the staff hesitancy has been implanted into them by leadership over the years, not picking and sticking with a program through to fruition. As the saying goes, it's the new flavor of the month. The good about lean is that leaders, middle management, and frontline staff can gain the opportunity to address and solve issues together that confront them on a daily basis. Lean is about building skills throughout the organization to continually identify issues, structure and implement tests of change that will improve the process. Over time, a lean program will help staff feel valued, to recognize they can influence how their daily work is done, to become confident that sharing the fact about business processes will not bring reprisals from management, and to increase the overall value generated by the organization. What all members of the organization have to appreciate is that lean is a journey over time where trust must be earned and accomplishments celebrated. To help the staff of your organization leverage the benefits of a lean program, call or write us.